Hi, yeah, everyone. Welcome to Watch It Paint It. Today I'm going to be painting Zuza, I think that's how you pronounce, from Zombicide Black Plague. This was a Kickstarter exclusive, so hopefully you've got it. It was voted for on Patreon. It didn't win the month, but I thought we've not done a Zombicide Black Plague in a while, so I thought I'd do one of this for everybody. So I'm just showing that it's coated with Barbarian Flesh by the Army Painter, one of their colour primers, and uh, that's an exact match to the Survivor skin you can see. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using the Pro Arty Pro Art brushes supplied by Quick Draw Supplies. I'll put a link in the description below. This is number two brush, which is similar to the Regiment brush, and I'm starting with Charred Brown by Vallejo. I'm going to be painting her knee high boots in this Charred Brown, and I'm just going to be I'm going to be careful around those um, straps, which I'm going to do in in a metallic afterwards. I'm not being super careful, but the metallics are a little bit difficult to paint on top of a dark brown, so I'm a little bit care has been taken there. After I've done the boots, I'm going to move on to a skirt and I'm going to be painting every other panel in this charred brown. So I'm leaving, I'm painting the leathery parts with this and the fancy parts I'm going to paint in a different colour afterwards. So in between all the fancy parts, that's one in every two. I'm also going to paint her hair in the same colour. She's got quite dark hair on the card, so she's using the same brown to save time. And I do like to use as few colours as possible. I feel like three main colours is a nice amount to use in a model. little pro tip, inverted commas, for you there. Dark Flesh Tones, the alternate brown I'm going to be using for in, in the, the, the fancier panels in a leather, a leather skirt there. So it's just a little bit lighter, a bit more terracotta, tanny colour, that style of brown. So this is just a darker um, of those three colours that I'm going to start with. So just painting in those panels there. After that, I'm going to be taking Night Blue again by Vallejo. So all three of these colours Vallejo so far. This is quite a vibrant blue. I'm going to be painting the the base of her top. So again, a little bit of care being taken not to paint those fancy bits completely, but I, I don't mind if I catch it a little bit. Same on the wrist guards, the same blue, a little bit of care on the fancy decorative bits, which I'm going to paint up in a metallic colour later on in the video. So not trying to coat it completely, but also it doesn't matter very much either. I'm going to be using Silver by Vallejo. This is the brightest of my silvers and also sort of the weakest of the colours, so it's going to take multiple coats, but I'll do one on video and do a couple off of it. So this is to paint all of the fancy bits of a, a shoulder pads and a brassiere there. Uh, Claymore Blade, so this is the next level of silver. So this is from Army Painter. It's still a very light silver, but it's not as sparkly as that silver by Vallejo. So I'm going to be painting her sword and those fancy bits I mentioned, all the metal on her knee-high boots there. So still using the number two brush, I've not switched here, it's got a very very sharp point on at the moment so I'm able to do the finest detail really, we've just got my steady hand as best as I can and yeah just painting all those metallic parts across the boots, line after line, angle after angle, so taking my time there, don't want to get any on the brown and there's a little bit round the back of each boot as well, that sort of cross brace there. Obviously the art doesn't go round the back so that could be brown, I've I'm not sure, I just think it matches better with the metallic from the front. So after that I'm going to be just taking dark flesh tone again. I feel like I needed to give her a little bit of lip colour, maybe lipstick. I don't know, maybe she's got quite dark lips, you decide. I'm going to be using leather brown by the Army Painter, or quite a light brown. So the third sort of brown that I'm using in this, and this is for her bow, just to give her a bow a, a more of a wooden effect than a leather effect. Although it is leather brown, I do feel like it's a lot closer to a palish wood than the other two colours I've used. Brain Matter Beige. This is the slightly off white by the Army Painter from the Zombie Side set, and that's just to paint those, um, what would you call them, the little stringy bits around the ends of the bow. Uh, Polished Gold by Vallejo. So I'm just using their gold because it was next to me. Bright Gold by the Army Painter would be fine as well, or any gold. Just if you've got a gold, use the gold for this part. So that's for the hilt of a sword, the pommel of a sword. Uh, that was it, I think. But I'm also then after that going to be highlighting up the top of all these fancy bits of her armour. So the this, this sort of pattern on top of her brassiere and her blue top. I'm going to be using Flesh Wash now. And this is just to shade in her, her flesh. So that's her face, her uh, chest, wow, wow, her thighs and her hands there. I'm also then just going to use the same Flesh Wash on her back and the backs of her legs and her arms. So all the skin. Would you believe it or not? All the flesh. Find all the flesh and use the flesh wash. Nice and easy. Blue tone. This is Army Painter's blue shader. And I'm going to be applying that to all the blue parts. So that's her 
fancy little corset and both of her wrist guards. So just being careful, I'm using the, it's still number two brush. I've not switched all so far as the same one brush, which is about the regiment size. It's slightly smaller, I think, but it's just got a very sharp point at the moment. So I'm able to do a lot of this work. I'm going to use Survivor Shader, which is the black shader by the Army Painter. And for this, I'm going to be painting the metallic parts of of uh, her sword, so well, her whole sword because it's gold and silver. I'm also going to be painting her hair and the her brassiere and the shoulder pads and her boots as well. So the darker, darker, darker colours, uh, her bow, a uh, skirt, obviously that's both two dark colours. So metallics and dark colours for this, which is just the remainder of the remainder of the model. Once you've done the blue and the flesh, it's everything else. Quite a lot of washing there to do. After that, we're on to highlighting Survivor Skins out first. And this is just a paint back in um, the base colour anywhere that I feel like the shade is settled unnecessarily and just so, so basically a th quite a thick coat or a th thick line on all of the the raised parts of her, so that's all the parts of the face, her chin, her cheeks, her nose, all of her muscles, her thighs, her biceps, her chest, just leaving the, the cleavage and around the outside of the clothes shaded there. I'm going to do all of her fingers, just leaving inside of each finger, uh, the joins shaded so you can see the separation in fingers. Uh, backs of the knees I'm going to paint up as well, just making sure none of that wash is settled unnecessarily. I'm going to do all of the back muscles too. After that, I'm going to take Survivor Skin and Brain Matter Beige, slightly off-white. Uh, white would be fine here as well, and just mix that about 50-50 and get quite a lighter skin tone just to start highlighting up. So it's basically the same areas that I just painted the skin back in, but then I'm not putting it it's a thinner coat, so there's slightly more water in, and I'm not going in as wide as I did for the first coat. Dark flesh tones out, and this is to highlight back up. Um, well, I'm going to use it to highlight up the skirt, and I'm going to highlight up the, uh, de -de 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 the charred brown bit. So that's the flatter panels of each of the skirts, and I'm also going to highlight up her boots in the same. So I'm using the dark flesh tone as the highlight for the charred brown here. So I'm just catching all the edges of the boots that I can, especially around the sort of toe pieces. I'm just painting in some some shine to, to the middle of the boots. I'm going to use tan to highlight up the dark flesh tone from the base coat. So that's the fancier parts of those skirts. So I'm just going to paint in each and every one individual piece of those uh, those levers and the, there's a dot in each one as well. And then I'm going to use uh, my dry brush and dark flesh tone. So switching back to that. I'm going to be using it's another Pro Art paintbrush. This is one of their flat models. Uh, it's the 1.8, and I'll put that in the description below. And that's just a dry brush on her hair to highlight that up. Night blues back out. I'm going to do the same as I did with the with the flesh, and just sort of repainting the blue anywhere that the the ink settled too much. Magic blue is the highlight I'm going to use, which is quite a bright blue. It's by Vallejo, and I'm just going to paint down all of the raised parts of her of her corset and her wrist guards. So that's quite a lot on the front. I'm getting both of her sides or the top of the corset and then on the wrist guards down each edge, each arm, which would be in the light. Leather browns out just to highlight back up the bow to the original base color. So I'm just painting a line down each edge of the bow. I'm gonna use Claymore Blade and that's just to paint back in the silver really. I mean, I'm doing it a thinner line and a more careful. So it's just down the middle really of each part of this, of her, um, knee-high boots and that's just giving it a nice 3D realistic look and look and feel as I often say to to those so it's leaving the edges still tarnished with the shader uh, just doing the same down the back so I'm doing that to the whole of the boots and then the sword I'm going to paint both sides of the sword leaving the shader in the middle of the blade and then after that I'm going to take polished gold to highlight that up I'm going to add a dot now to each of the sort of rivets bolts to her boots just to give them a little bit of colour I'm going to highlight up the edge of the hill and the pommel as well, just leaving the, the recess bit shaded. And then I'm going to very, very carefully paint on the the gold, basically back all the, the fanciness from her corset. I'm just going to very, very carefully paint each line back on. Uh, same on her shoulder pads as well. There's a sort of fancy decal on top of each of the flat shoulders. Uh, the same on the arm guards. The arm guards themselves are blue and flat, but there's this raised fancy patterny flowery pattern you might say 
on the on the corset, on the shoulder pads, and on the arms. And this is a nice touch detail which gives her a lot of depth to the model. That's the model finished highlighted. So we just move on to the base. I'm going to do it like I often do or always do so far with the zombie side survivors and uh, the same for the massive darkness one i'll just paint the, the the base black i think it makes the model pop very very easily very very quickly very little effort from the from the base and job done that's the, the model done and then i'm just going to start finish off by adding in her eyes which i always do at the end just in case i mess this up so i won't bore you with the worst looking eyes in the world uh, <laughs> so that was just a little bit of black to give us some outlines to her eyes and then I'm going to take the white primer and just paint in two eyeballs on top of those black sockets that I painted in just moments before so very very carefully using the number two brush I haven't switched from the number two brush for the whole model it's got very sharp point at the moment it's very very easy to be accurate and now I'm going to switch down to number one because uh, painting the pupils is just too small so I'm just going to give her two little dots in the middle of those eyeballs using a smaller brush I'll put a link to this brush in the description below as well they're all from quick draw supplies kindly supply them for free i've not reviewed these yet so this is one of the first few times i've used them and i've just thought i'd show off what you can do with those those brushes just use two brushes pretty good i would say one hour 26 minutes uh, i think that's pretty fast I, I i love this model i think i painted it very well and I really love seeing her on the table. And she's, she's a great character. I love what she's based on too. So hopefully you enjoyed watching that. If you did, give us a thumbs up below. If you've got any comments, please leave them below as well. Um, if you're interested in what we're painting in the future, come and join Patreon. Get involved in the voting. Got loads of new producers last month. So thank you very much for the support. And thank you all for watching.